Hello, this is Joe and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna cover something that every ZWO camera is susceptible to and what we could do about it. So what I wanted to show you was this. So here's the problem I'm having. I've got a lot of things plugged into the USB hub, which I think most ZWO owners have. And it's putting a lot of weight, either downwards or upwards on the USB hub. Now, right now, it's not, it's, it's kind of loose. Um, they are a little loose, but the USB hub itself seems pretty stiff. Now on my 1600 mm Pro, the USB hub's a little loose. Now in doing some research, I found that there's supposed to be some screws in there that you could tighten up. But when I first got my 1600, it wasn't, the USB port really wasn't loose. And I'm afraid that the same thing's gonna happen to my 294. And if I ever get a 2600 or 6200 ZWO model, then the same thing might happen with them as well. So what am I gonna do about it? This. So the first thing I did was go to Thingiverse and find some ethernet cable runners. And then I also went and I found this protractor and what I did was mirror it and then cut out the center for my idea. As you can see, when I went into Tinkercad, I placed my ethernet cable runner right here and then I built up a cylinder around it, the same diameter as the camera. I mirrored the protractor and cut out the center so that it's kind of like a cap at the end of the camera. And then just for fun, I went ahead and put some text around the side, not only just because I want to show off Joe's astrophoto, but also because it could help you grab the outside of this while you're putting it on and off, especially in the cold. So then from there, I just took it into Cura and did some simple settings. I did a layer height of 0.3 and fill density of 10 and my temperature and bed settings and then that's it. It says it's going to take an hour to hour and a half to print and about 17 grams of material to make it. So let's go check it out on the printer and see if it works on our camera. Okay, so here's the ring that I made. It's got cable management, and I'll go ahead and turn this around the entire camera. I'll rotate it in a minute so that you can see it. But it's also got some little tick marks on here, as I explained earlier in the video, and each one of these is 10 degrees. So it does help when I want to rotate my camera manually. I'll know that if I pick a spot and I move this this much, it's 10 degrees. So let me go ahead and give you an example of what I mean. So this is the way I've currently got my camera rotated. Now with my Celestron OAG, all I need to do is loosen these three screws and I'm able to rotate my camera. And I could rotate it all the way around and you could see how I've got, how I've got the, uh, the ethernet cable runner attached to this. It, it's all part of the design. And so you can, and I've still got even more room here and here if I had more cables, or I could even reroute these around to get them a little bit tighter. But when I go to rotate the camera, I don't want any pulling on it. So say that the, the camera's here to start with and I'm lining something up and Nina tells me to move to rotate the camera 20 degrees, I can, take my, my tick marks here, and I know that it starts here, so I can kind of just guess somewhat that that's a pretty appro good approximation, which I couldn't do before without the tick marks on it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. Now, the thing is when I rotate my camera, I don't normally do it this way because what I like to do, as long as we're here and talking, is either on the top or the bottom, that's where the, the long side of your sensor is. And I like to keep it lined up with my OAG prism. And so the OAG prism's coming up right here. So I want the long side here so that I don't catch any of that prism in my field of view. So I'm gonna tighten these back up. So what I do is, is when I really need to rotate the camera, I loosen up the back thumb screws and I rotate the entire thing, including the OAG. 
Now, if I go more than 15 degrees in either direction, it usually means that I need to recalibrate. But it is an easy way to rotate the entire camera and rotate my field of view to get the kind of, to line up my images the way that I want them. So I'm gonna post a link in the description below to a shared drive that I have, and I'm gonna put drop the STL file in here for this ring if you wanna give it a shot. Now the thing is, is that the 294 is 78 millimeters, and so that's what this ring is set for. Now, I, my good friend, Pat Prokop from Heavenly Backyard Astronomy was testing on his 071 MC camera for me, which happens to be 86 millimeters. And I sent him one and it was a little bit too big. You really want them to fit real tight so that they can't move on you and turn on you. Otherwise, it kind of really defeats the purpose of having the cable management and also the tick marks for the degrees that you turn the camera. Unfortunately, I kind of ran out of time and it was going to get expensive to keep shipping him the, this ring over and over until I got a fit. Because I don't really have, well, I don't have uh, a 071 camera to test with here. Also, I wanted to mention that Isaac and Jason the Scorpion Brothers, as you guys might know if you follow my channel, um, they also offered to test on the 6200. And Jason was going, I was going to make Jason one for the Orion camera so he could test that. But the same thing happens where I'll, I'll make a, a test print and then I really don't know if it's going to fit and I go through the expense of shipping it and I can't keep doing that over and over. Plus, it would be a year before anyone got this. So, what I'm going to do is just share this STL. And if any viewers out there who are really good with some of the software out there to adjust STLs, if you guys want to check it out and maybe if you do happen to make one for an 86 millimeter or a 90 millimeter for the 2600 or 6200, uh, and I'll put that in the shared drive as well so that people with other models besides the 294 or with 78 millimeter cameras uh, can work. The 78 millimeter cameras, I believe off the top of my head, there might be more, are the 183, the 1600, the 294, and the 533. There might be more, again, I don't know. Um, I only own the 1600 and the 294. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a like so more people could check out this camera ring and hopefully save themselves from USB issues down the road. And we'll see you in the next video.